Hello friends, I'm Commander Atul Kumar Rohatgi speaking to you. I'm speaking on behalf of ISRI Institute of Excellence. This talk is part of the series which is called HVAC Talks. Today I'm going to talk about another psychometric parameter which is enthalpy. This is going to be my fifth, fifth talk in psychometry. In earlier four, I had talked about different other psychrometric parameters. I hope you have already seen them before coming to this. <clears throat> Today we are going to talk about enthalpy. Enthalpy is defined as the total energy content per unit mass of dry air. Enthalpy is the sum of sensible heat and latent heat content in unit mass of dry air. So, and this enthalpy is represented as a small h. Enthalpy, as I said, is sum of sensible heat plus latent heat, and therefore a small h is equal to SH plus LH. What is sensible heat here? Sensible heat is that part of heat that is reflected by the temperature of air. If we supply sensible heat to air, then the temperature of air will rise. And if we remove sensible heat from air, that would mean that the temperature of the air will get reduced. Talking about latent heat, it is because of moisture content in air. If we add water vapor in air, that means we are adding latent heat. And if we remove water vapor, that means we are reducing latent heat. The units for measuring enthalpy are in MKS, it is kilojoule per kg of dry air. And in FPS, it is British thermal unit per pound of dry air. Where is the position of enthalpy on the psychrometric chart? How do we read it? So first of all, talking about the scale, where it is, this red line that you can see on the psychrometric chart, on the extreme left, it is an inclined line. Uh, line. This is the scale for enthalpy. When we come from, move from bottom to top along this line, the enthalpy value increases. And now let's try to understand where are the constant enthalpy lines. Because on this psychrometric chart, we read not two, but seven different psychrometric parameters. And therefore, it is essential for us to understand where are the constant psychrometric parameter line, in this case, constant enthalpy line. So these three red lines are constant enthalpy lines. In fact, not only these three, all these slanted uh, dark uh, black lines, they are all constant enthalpy lines. That means on any one of them, on any one of them, wherever we go, whichever point we take, the value of enthalpy will be same. On this red line, anywhere we are, the value of the enthalpy will be same. And then how do we read it? In case if we have been given a point, this red dot, let's say that this is the sample point that we are interested in, and we want to read what is the enthalpy here? What is the amount of energy content at this point? What we need to do is that we have to draw a line that is parallel to these constant enthalpy lines and extend this particular line to the scale that we have for enthalpy. And here we can read that the value here is 58.5. That means the enthalpy at this particular point is 58.5 kilojoule per kg of dry air. That is the sum of sensible heat and latent heat at this given point is 58.5 joules per kg of dry air. Enthalpy is a total energy content in unit mass of dry air. Knowing total mass flow rate, now the question comes that why are we interested in, in enthalpy? If we know the enthalpy difference between two points, there are a lot of psychrometric uh, processes that take place. And in any one of them, if we know the initial point and the final point and the difference in enthalpy between these two points, then if we multiply it by the mass flow rate, we will get the heating load or cooling load, whichever it is. 
So if M represents the mass flow rate, then M multiplied by delta H, which is difference of enthalpy, that will give me the Q value of Q, that is the quantity of heat that needs to be supplied or the quantity of heat that needs to be removed. Enthalpy gives the total picture of hot and cold. Now this also please understand that Delhi or in a dry place, the temperature might temperature of air might be more. In a coastal area, the temperature of air might be less. But coastal area, the air will have more moisture. In a dry region, the air will have less moisture. And therefore, the total effect of that will be such that many times on more often than not the coastal air or the moisture laden air even at a lower temperature will have higher heat content as compared to air in a landlocked place at a very high temperature much higher temperature this can have be seen by the higher enthalpy of moisture laden air at a coastal place thanks a lot for watching me thanks a lot and I really appreciate your uh, interest in going through these videos. Do join Ishray to look after your interest if you want to rise up in the field of HVAC and gain more knowledge, more skills. If you want to join this industry, join us so that you get to know the knowledge and the skill of HVAC and refrigeration. Our contact numbers have been given below. We are present on YouTube. We are present on uh, Facebook. We are present on LinkedIn. And we have a website. Visit us to know more. Thank you very much.